in one of the best locations in Chicago. Easily accessible, it has parking, uh, it's right on the lake, it's just really beautiful. AIC used to be this sleepy giant uh, on very prime location in Chicago. This building is a unique building in the Midwest and this the corner is very important. We're talking about prime location, minutes away from downtown Chicago and steps away from the lake. We're talking about a landmark building with a dormitory that hosts up to 120 students, an auditorium with a thousand seat capacity, and a library. We are in an exciting year at the American Islamic College. We have just completed one full year of academic courses in Islamic studies, Quranic studies, Hadith and Sira, Art courses such as Ebru, which is a Turkish art form of water marbling, and Arabic calligraphy. Protestant Christians have created their colleges and their seminaries. Catholic Christians have done so. Jews have done so. It's now the Muslims' turn, and it's important I think that the Muslim community is in the United States. There are many Islamic institutions in the United States. There are many cultural centers and mosques, but the AIC is unique. It's the first Islamic university in the United States. American Islamic College has been asleep. Now with the new administration, AIC has been working extremely hard to reconstruct and rebuild this college. The American Islamic College, you know, was founded nearly 30 years ago. Um, with the hope of creating uh, a fully accredited college that was truly Islamic and truly American. Um, and for a variety of reasons, those hopes didn't come, to, uh, didn't come to fruition. The American Islamic College has witnessed many challenges under past administrations, um, but under the new administration, we've seen exponential growth in the past year alone have an amazing team of dedicated individuals and I'm very honored to be working with all of them. Well, AIC can have a huge impact on uh, the education and knowledge of Islam, uh, especially in America. One of the most exciting aspects of AIC is its commitment to interfaith and interreligious understanding. I mean, sure it's important to understand uh, Islam in context, but it's also really important, uh, especially in American society, to understand relationships between religions, religions you may not have understood before, and religions you may know a little bit about, but you'd like to have some more conversations about. And I think one of the best things about AIC is that it offers a forum for interreligious understanding for, for people from all different religions and faith backgrounds. This past year, we've been very active about letting the public know that we're here. We've invited people to participate in our interfaith community garden and several interfaith events. I love the fact that there's so many people from different traditions here. So I think this is the solution, is people coming together from across all sorts of uh, backgrounds and uh, working together on a project. Next year or next time, we're going to be here. I'm sure we're going to be here. We host several events such as our lecture series uh, where we hear from academics and civil leaders and they discuss pertinent topics relating to our world. Um, we've invited the public to come and learn more about Islam and Muslims through our variety of courses as well as to participate in our conference and to come and have fun at the concert last September. We had a big program called The Sounds of Faith in which um, we celebrated the diversity of Chicago's community and in the Abrahamic faith traditions. This year we've been working very diligently to become accredited with the Illinois Board of Higher Education. Uh, we've submitted our application in January of 2011 and we hope to be hearing back very soon um, and achieving our operating authority which means that we can offer classes for credit for students. We're looking to receive credit for an undergraduate program in Islamic studies, a graduate program in Islamic studies, a graduate program in Islamic chaplaincy, a certificate program in Islamic chaplaincy, and a certificate program in English as a second language. 
I would definitely take more classes at AIC. I tell you what, I've taken uh, grad school level Arabic classes at one of the uh, country's best grad schools for international studies and this class is uh, actually taught quite a bit better than that one. And in the future we hope to also offer degrees in economics, international relations, political science, media, to name a few. We also hope to offer PhD programs in Islamic studies. But we have several projects still ahead of us. We need your support to accomplish those projects, to make for a suitable and comfortable atmosphere for our students. Now we need your help to move forward. We need your support. I think it's really important for the entire community to contribute to AIC. It's the first college of its kind in the United States. I think that's a tremendous growth opportunity, and it's also a tremendous opportunity to contribute to understanding of Islam and understanding of Muslims in the United States. So contributing to AIC is a very, very important way that people can support the goals of the AIC. This 90-year-old building needs major renovations and maintenance still. Um, it needs a new electrical system. Um, we need to uh, create a computer lab, uh, have library resources, and upgrade our software. We did our part by opening our doors to the community with free events. And now it's your time to do your part. There are many ways you can donate to the American Islamic College. You can make a one-time tax-deductible contribution, or you can invest in one of our Make a Gift programs. I want you to know that every penny you donate to the American Islamic College will be put to the best use. We're very committed to that, and our track record has shown that in the past year, where we have used the least amount of money for the maximum output. For many of the people who live in Chicago, their ancestors too came to this country, and what did they do? They started colleges. Uh, they created seminaries to train uh, leaders for their institutions. The Muslim community is doing the same. This is a good thing. Um, this is a good thing. It's something uh, to be welcomed. It is a societal obligation for us all that we see that this college is given adequate support and that Dr. Ali Yuksever and those who are working with him are given our backing.